Welcome into the den. I'm Tobin, an unboxing from Terry at Hawaiian Soap Company. He contacted me the other day, said he wanted to send me some things that are yet to be available in the States, but are available in South Korea. One of them is called simply called Christmas. And it was originally only available to members of the Heritage Pastime shave group um that is a korean shave group that terry the artisan at hawaiian soap created you may recall early last year early this year 2023 my review of spicy wood and dr lion i still need to do my full review of blooming season i want to do that actually next weekend next weekend i want to do like a uh two outside the state international artisans i'm going to do boss boer from bunda beard in south africa and then terry's in south korea stay on topic tobin i was on topic no you were kind of getting off topic no i was stop okay um how you doing in this box i have christmas it really won't be available to any anyone else unless you buy it directly from South Korea and in that right there. But I wanted to do in first impressions of it today and then just talk about the other two soap sets that are in here. Right up front, full disclosure, I did not pay for these. I will not profit from these. But I will give you my full 100% raw opinion of them. If you've seen my full review of spicy wood you know that i absolutely love that fragrance dr lion i love it as well and blooming season i enjoy it and i'll share with you guys the reasons why i enjoy that fragrance next week uh blooming season is inspired by tom ford's neroli is that the name of it Something Neroli. Anywho, so up here it says HP and S. That stands for Heritage Pastime Shave Group. I love the label. We also have um, Silent Season. This is a winter fragrance. Great packing job. And then we also have under the Terry Soap, does this one say Terry Soap on it too? Yeah, you have a small little thing of Terry right there. Simply called the Classic. Uh oh. Something leak. He also included pre shave oils. I didn't know these were coming. Thank you. I didn't even know you had to pre shave. Looks like one of them might have leaked. This one did. Yep. The Christmas leaked a little bit. Thank you, Terry. I had no idea that you even had a pre-shave. Oh, maybe it was this guy here. No, it was, well, I don't know. And here's also the classic. Thank you, Terry. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. And then we have the soaps. Something that's super cool. If you saw those reviews, you know that the only real negative thing I had to say was it was the tins. I personally don't have a problem with tins the aluminum tin. I kind of like them. At the same time, I don't like it when they get dented up, but I do like the aluminum tins. But that was the only thing that I pointed out to you guys that I thought that some people might not like. He has gone with the, P, it's not PTFE, what do you, the PETA tubs or something like that is what they call the plastic, right? So he has gone with the plastic tubs. There's the silent season. And as I say that, okay, I was going to say, it almost looks like the classic was in the tin as well, but it's not. That's plastic. Hopefully this one didn't get ruined. It's got a little bit of oil on the wrap. Nope, it looks just fine. I love this label. It is so clean, classic Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. 
but I love this base, right? So Spicy Wood is their vegan base. Dr. Lion and Blooming Season is their horse tallow base. If you missed that content, in those videos, I also shared how Hawaiian Soaps is Terry and then his dad, who's a, well, I won't get into it, but it's Terry and his dad. They have improved their original formula. Well, that's what he says. We're going to find out here in a second when we lather this. Let's give this a few good shakes. So this is an improved formula, which to me, I didn't think there was any Recording will be stopped. Something to answer a call. I guess I'm getting a call and it's giving me a warning. I have my do not disturb on. I don't know why it was disturbing me. Anywho. Um, hey, Emily, is mom trying to contact us? So I didn't think that his, either one of those bases, that vegan base and spicy wood is fantastic. It really, really is. I was so blown away by that horse tallow base that is in Dr. Lion and Blooming Season. So I'm really curious to see the improvements. I don't think there's any improvements needed. Um, we'll get into that as I get into these reviews, though. I like how the nipple is receded. This is a new style of bottle, too. I think does the nipple stick out on these yeah a little bit so I'll apply this on the back of my arm here I've been playing with fragrances today what's new especially on my days off all right the scent notes in this guy clary sage no top is bergamot clary sage spicy in the middle, we find jasmine, orange blossom, tuberose. In the base, tonka, vanilla, woody. Beautiful. Oh, if you caught my review last weekend of Hanoki and White Sage, I told you I'd be saying it again. I had no idea that sage was in this when I said it. In fact, I didn't know it until just a couple of hours ago when I uh, was writing it down. Oh. God, that's beautiful. You're getting that bergamot and a perfect clary sage. Oh, I'm not really... Yeah, it's a little spicy. There, there is a hint of spice to it. I have my Hawaiian soap bowl. I forget the name of the company that made that for Terry. Let's look at this pour. Oh, look at that. Fancy. You have a little clear lid on it. So, very cool. A little freshness seal. Bravo, Terry. Oh, gosh. Those three soaps did not disappoint. So, like... Don't get me wrong by what I said earlier. I like Blooming Season. It's just I absolutely am in love with the fragrance of Spicy Wood. I really, 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 really like the fragrance of Dr. Lion. And I do like Blooming Season. Terry's Wood would be my favorite, followed by the Dr. Lion. I'll put links in the description to my review of both of those. And I really, really do. I, I like Blooming Season. I, I love it. I do. Uh, just out of those three, it's my third favorite. Gosh damn, that smells freaking great. Um, I had a scoop. What'd you do with my scoop, guys? There it is. Scoop. That should be more than enough. Smash it down into my bowl here. Let's just go with a teeny scotch more. Why not? Yeah, that's all. Mm-hmm. Oh man, you guys, if you haven't tried Terry's, you got to. I believe I said that in both those reviews. I freaking mean it. Like, I'm so curious to see how this stuff is going to shave and perform because I'm not kidding. That tallow, horse, that horse tallow base of his that's in the Dr. Lion and the Blooming Season is just out of sight. It really, really is. This is a winner. 
Terry, you, you have to make this available in the States next year. You got to bring this back. That is so good. It really, really is. In my little mini a and mug, I have my Simpson Trollfogger T2. I just soak when I'm in the den because I don't have running water to wet the bristles. There we go. Here we go. Let's see what we get here. I'll put the scent notes for Silent Season and the Classic right up there. I'll do a review of those soon. They will be available at the Wet Shaving Store. The Wet Shaving Store is still scheduled to open January 8th. For those who don't know, Andy had his surgery. The surgery went very well. He is recovering and doing well. So if you've been praying for him, thank you. If you've been sending him, you know, thoughts, prayers, messages, thank you. Um, if you haven't been sending him any messages, please definitely send him, you know, a get well type message on Messenger or at the wet shaving store on Instagram. I texted him earlier today, um, just letting him know that I was thinking of him. And he texted me back real briefly. Uh, but from what I understand, talking with Jerry, a.k.a. Shave Dad Jerry Plessy. Oh my gosh. This is just a few seconds of lathering. I didn't notice uh, or pay attention to what time I started lathering it. Look at that. Let's lather a teeny bit more. Just give it a little scotch of water. Beautiful. I can't wait to shave with this, Terry. I'm going to shave with it this weekend. I'll probably do a video of this on Sunday. I might just do it from the den. And if I do, this might honestly be my first shave with it. So we'll do that together on camera if I do. I already have a few videos planned out for this weekend. I haven't been doing shave videos with all of the um, advent calendars. That's because I've been wanting to shave with my Christmas stuff that I already have. My next Phoenix uh, shaving video will be Lump of Coal review. I've had that fragrance for years and I absolutely love it. All right, so this is hydrated and this is going to be more than wet enough for three passes or should be. This is, you know, a new base to me. It has uh, mare milk, so the milk of a female horse. Is there. I'll get the full ingredient list and put it up on there. If it's not on the side of the tub, it is. Okay. So I'll make sure to put photo, Tobin, remember to put a photo of the ingredients list. Look at this. It was more than enough soap. And I knew it would be with these first impressions. I just like to have plenty so that we can judge the lather, the appearance of the lather and the feel of it in my hands and the fragrance. Look at all that. The sage. Oh, buddy. Oh, we're into the middle and maybe working into the base over here on this. That tonka and vanilla is shining through. The orange blossom, that's a flower. I can smell it. Oh, beautiful. Like for real, Terry, buddy, you have to make this available next year. Worldwide, buddy. You have a banger right here. This is a real freaking banger. Look at that lather. Let's play with it. I still got a bunch in the bowl. A bunch. <laughs> Bloop, there it finally went. All right, all right, all right, Tobin. I like playing with lather. No, I'm not the only one. Here we go. Moment of truth. Ooh. Nice. So I can't wait to feel it on my skin because I really feel like that um, Dr. Lion and Blooming Season only has equals when it comes to performance and all that. This is a beautiful, wonderful... Uh, Lather. Look at that. 
I want to thank you guys for joining me. I got several videos planned. I'm off work until Tuesday, the day after Christmas. It is Thursday. I'm going to get this one up real quick because I have a few videos for you guys that I want to do. That is perfect. Look at that. I'm shaking it and it's not losing its form. A poor lather, the peak would be bending. And look at that. If it stays like that for more than four hours, you need to call a doctor. I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas if you're celebrating it. Happy Hanukkah if you're celebrating that. And if you're not celebrating anything or if you're celebrating something else, I hope it's a memorable one. It's the little big things. I hate the shorter days of winter, but it really is a magical time of year. This is a great lather. I cannot wait to get it on my face. Thank you once again, Terry. I can't wait to get into these soaps. Oh, God, that is a banger. Like, for real. That is so damn good. Bergamot, clary sage, spicy, jasmine, orange blossom, tuberose, tonka, vanilla, woody. Y'all take care. Thanks for being here. And uh, I'll see you real soon. Bye.